Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Caesar 4 The Economic Empire Missions uh, Last last episode was Alexandria And it was a uh, some bitch It was very difficult and just, just in that uh, the, the, the placement on the map of resources and, and access to ports and trade areas was was difficult to work with But uh, we're going to move on now to Lugdunum Found the city of Lugdunum in central Gaul at the confluence of the Rhone and Sone rivers. Caesar wants Lugdunum to be the finest city in all of Gaul, and so requires a populous and highly cultured city. Trade from across the empire travels through Lugdunensis. Goods from Gallia, Hispania, Britannia, Italia, Germania, and beyond all can easily flow through your city as one side of the empire looks to trade with the other. Establish new routes to take advantage of your central location. Caesar, of course, expects to share in your profits and to benefit from your access to exotic goods from the north. Okay, so he's going to be asking for A, money, and probably exotic goods that I can import. This is the number that's probably going to be an issue right here. Pro Prosperity 35, not too difficult. Population 6,000, that's about what I had last, uh, last episode. So, interesting map here. Very large. I love the... That, that the starting location is already on a nice L here, like where everybody comes in. We've got food over here, food over here. Clay. Clay, clay. Probably just clay. You know, over this, this stuff might be like iron or gold. I see some iron. Alright, let's take a, take a peek. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Olives. Gold jewelry. Pottery, gold jewelry, olive oil, meat and vegetables, clothing, weapons and armor. Uh, that's just exotic imports and wool. Yeah, I can export. I can export a lot of stuff. I mean, right off the bat, that's the easiest thing to do to start a small small income so let's 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 bloop in over here and what I'm gonna do is say hey this is the perfect location for our starting housing block like that and we're gonna slow this down a little I'm gonna get rid of that because it's just in the way. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of pop in here, start laying down some farms. One, two, three. We one, two, three. Green field, green farm. Go one, two. That's enough for for more. It's enough for eight. Um, because these guys actually do need road access. Not too bad, really. And then what we need to start doing is uh, plopping some more stuff in down here. So we'll go... Uh, okay, so maybe... Yeah, I guess we can start throwing some of these guys in. Like right here across the street. We'll start with three. Start with three there. And then... We'll put in... Food market over here like that basic goods market right there like that so there's clays down here so that's where some industrial stuff will end up going okay so other things that I need I'm sure this road is marked down so I know where it's supposed to be going water
What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a pump house. Well, you know what I should do is... So I don't want to wait because it's got to go back over here. I don't want it like right next to the city. Because the water, the water kind of propagates out for a while. Uh, whew. Let's lay down some more farms. Just so we know, like, you know, where the... Well, like where the line is. Yeah, let's do one more. Alright, and then we'll say... Hey, let's put in a... A reservoir, like in here. Uh, that's gonna be water. Reservoir. Just gonna pop that in right there. Aqueduct. Throw it down south. And then we'll go pump house. Attach it right there. Works. Now we're gonna need a well. Or a fountain. I just skip over wells and go straight for fountains. Pop that in right there. Cool. We don't have any prefects offices or anything yet, so what we're gonna do is go prefects office. Right here, oop. Engineer's office. There. People moving in, starting to work on the going go to their jobs. Going to need a granary. Mm, sure, right there. Close, but not too close. And then, as long as we got this up, we got these in place, might as well do the vegetable fee farms. Just and we can we can pretty this up at some point if we want. Now that should uh, that being that close, it shouldn't be too difficult getting resources where they're needed. Now what we need to do is pop over this way. Can't get across there now. Pop over this way. What we're going to do is uh, throw in a road right there. We're going to go, hey, we need some clay digging camps. It's going to be in here. No, resources. We're going to start with two. And then we're going to need some factories. Well, this, uh, before we do that, Trade Depot, yup. Trade Depot is the land one, so we're gonna make sure that they are selling those. And then we're gonna put in some pottery, pottery factories, over here. Let's make them, well, let's uh, put them down in little block and then over we're gonna need to make sure we have at least a prefect's office and an engineer's office down here too don't have the jobs for those yet but actually that will that, that'll solve itself because that'll allow the other um, the domuses, insulas, the insulas to grow, bring more people in. And I don't think that'll be enough to do everything I, I want, but it'll, it'll be okay. Warehouse, um, yeah, actually, let's put in a warehouse right there. 
down to, to zero, and we'll say you can store some clay and some pottery. So any excess can be exported there. So we got this little industrial zone way down there. And what'll happen is the basic goods will get to the market, the insulas will grow, it'll bring in more people, all will be well, and we already got some veggies out here too. Just because of the basic economics and the way stuff works, uh, j you know, just some the basics of the game. Distance between production facility and the and, and where you can actually export the actual trade, like trade location, the trade port, or the um, what is this actually called? Trade. I don't actually remember. It was like just the, 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 the trade point, wherever it's it's going out is important just because the the distance is oh uh rome just asked for money didn't they oh i'm gonna hold on to that for a while and then over here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go hey uh we don't we're not collecting any taxes yet so that might be something to work on let's put in a tax office right there uh, I just want some of this stuff to be blocked out for me. Then what I'm going to do is say, hey, the patricians are just going to live over here. Let's just put down two. Right there, like that. And there we go. Yeah, they need these guys need more jobs, and public health is bad, so... Right off the bat, what is going to be a good idea is to gonna throw down a bathhouse. Uh, that would make that right there. Putting a bathhouse here. Does that? Oh, those might not have water. Oh, just barely. Just barely. That's a good location for a bathhouse. Also, provide a healthy amount of jobs for these guys. And temples are something that people need, so jupes. And we're gonna go with series. A couple more jobs, and then we'll just block that off like that. I like making more roads, uh, you know, too many roads than not enough. Hey, actually, some people actually moved in. I was a little surprised. Nice. No room, that's okay. And what we're going to want to do is take a close look at our economy down here. So we're about halfway through the month. Sold almost half. Alright, now what we're going to want to do is make sure we these are all running, which they are. Mm -hmm. That's okay. And then... I mean, there were people who were willing to buy cheap stuff. So Sardinia will buy 80 vegetables and 80 meat. That's not too bad, really. All right, what are the the other options? Are well, how, how much is this? 850 and 700? I can sell olive oil and olives. I'm gonna do this one. So I know I can I know I can make that work. So the trade port it just needs to be near where the food is kept, which is perfect. I can get it right in here. Uh, let's line it up like. Actually, what I, the the ideal thing would be to have it like right there. It works. And then what we'll do is we'll tell them to sell this stuff, and then we'll go cattle. Pasture. We'll start throwing down some of these. Actually, let's, uh, let's line that up. One, two, three, four. Let's just do four. That's cattle farm. It's two cattle farms. Alrighty. 
Now, there shouldn't be any issue with exports here because we're overproducing food to a ludicrous degree at this point. Already exporting. 12, there we go. Now, basic goods don't bring in a huge profit, but they're also easy to deal with. Yeah, people are already pretty happy about food. I'm, and I'm, I'm going to wait to the last possible moment to send that off. Because getting my economy up and running is kind of the most important thing for me to do. So I'm seeing 25. Oh, did he just... Oh, the places I've seen. I've oh, wait, refresh. Okay, so... It's going to be close. I don't want to go too ham-fisted with this because this is the this is the only pottery I'm gonna be I'm gonna need is this 50 plus what I use personally. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Oh, and we're gonna want to make sure. Well, this is the storage limit. Let's put the storage limit on half and half. That way, there's there's a little bit of each. No issues there. And, you know, these, these will start producing meat pretty quickly. What I can do for this, or what I can do is uh, make more granaries. Okay, let's do this. Let's put in three. And we'll say this one is for vegetable or for meat. And this one is for vegetables. And this one is for grain. So that there's always a, a stockpile somewhere of each type, rather than it just sitting in its its farms waiting for a place to go. All right, not bad. I've turned a profit. December. So let's see. How many do we sell this year? Forty-four. Almost maxed out. So that's pretty good. Just this little industrial zone seems to be doing the trick for for that export. And hopefully we'll start export. Yep, there's some meat. Nope, no, there's not meat in there. I thought there was. Right, those were barrels. One month left. Send it. Health risks in the city are not that bad. Like, I could put in more stuff, obviously. We don't have a barber shop yet. We don't have a clinic or a hospital. Hospital actually is the same size as one of these. So while it doesn't... Yeah, we can fit it on the block. Ooh. And yeah, it was, uh... Actually caused a little bit of issue there. So let's fill this block out. Fill that block out, that way we'll fit in there better. There's no entertainment in the city yet, but that's okay. Alright, nice, the meat's starting to come out. Alright, good start. This will fill out, yeah, there we go, it's all filled out now. We're not going to be able to build back this way too much. I was thinking about making a block. I can make a block of these. And then there, there is a small issue there. Shame. But it mostly fits in there. Hopefully that doesn't actually cause any issues with... Um, with distance travel. For, for items. Yeah, and my anything I put over here to get to this one, I have to go around the block instead of just right there. Well, it's not that bad, though. All right, how are we doing here? Nice. Already, only a few months in. Already almost maxed out. That's good. Well, let's see. This guy pulls up. Oh, there are two of them coming. Whew. Not bad. Let's take a look at the wages. So that's going to be under labor. Seems like they only go in increments of three. It's 
20, 23, or 17. I wonder why. Now, what do I... I have access to timber, and I have access to iron. So what we're going to do is start up earlier than I almost ever do other types of production, a.k.a. weapons. So what we're going to need over here is a iron mining camp. Just plop that in right there. Timber cutting camp. Plop that, yeah, that's going to be fine, because they can get over here. And then what we're going to need is... That's in here. Armor factory. Weapons factory. Ooh, don't fit over there. We'll just do, just do those for now. And we actually do need more people. Saw. So, can throw down another block over here. Or we might be able to fit some in over here. Let's see. This is this is gonna be close, but we can fit them. That's good. Let's just do this for now. Oh man! Wait, 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 wait. So let me get this straight. You want me to, you want me to move this stuff from North Africa to like Central Gaul, then back down to that seems criminally inefficient. And the armor, I do believe... Okay, I can work those, but the armor needs another type of doodle. So that's going to be over here, I think. Sheep farm. We don't need a ton of these. Sheep pasture. Let's... Can we get this going over here? No. We could get across this the the, the 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 doodle, make put it on this side. So that would mean a bridge. Like No, can't can't get can't get across there? That's a shame. So what we'll just do is plop them back here. Just do two. Sheep farm. One. There we go. And that will start taking care of weapons for me. So, warehouse. Armor and weapons. And then we're going to do another one. I think I did that wrong. Did I do that wrong? Yeah, I did that wrong. Armor. Weapons. Come on. There you go. And then this one is going to be iron and timber. There we go. Good. Good. Uh, sure. Alright, the sheep are going. People are moving in. Come on, you could get more food in there. It's not that difficult. These are occupied, right? Oh, you know what? They don't have access to water. Shit. Um, screw that plan. My bad. I just have to continue them out like this way. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, honey. Jesus Christ. Uh, they keep asking for shit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go... And we're going to start making some clothing. Boom. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oop. Undo. Boom. Of 
clothing factories. And then these would need warehouses as well. Well, a warehouse. We'll, in here we'll go nothing. And then we'll say half clothing. Half, where's the wool? Wool. And we could act, we, we could turn a much higher profit by opening up much trip. Well, once these are done, opening up more trade routes. And same thing here. Start getting this stuff piling up. Should be no issue here with exports. Nope. Getting basic goods out to the people seems like a bit of an issue. But we are starting up a new new production run. We got just gotta wait for that wool to get out. The wool you know, wool gets produced pretty quickly. So I don't think there'll be much of an issue. We might, we might need to double it up if we really want to maximize some exports. My armor is as hard there we go. As now we're making armor. I'm not seeing any pottery building up, so... Could definitely increase production a little bit. So let's throw down another clay digging camp. That's not happening. Sorry. And pottery factory. Boom, another one right there. So that'll help increase production. Because I want to make sure that I'm producing enough for myself and for export. Those are worth a pretty penny. Popping some more of those. I can give you money, but I, I'm, I'm, we're not we're not importing, exporting all that crazy shit just yet. All right, good. We're producing armor, and we're producing another basic good in clothing. That should help. We're also producing more pottery. And you know what we'll do is we'll go over here, and we will... I don't think I'll be able to get a road through there, but I can definitely get them to at least touch all sides. So some of these guys will have to go around the wall, you know, this way, but no, no big deal. Desirability is too low, I can fix that. There you go. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, they actually went up to uh, max level. Second second basic good. That's why. Nice. Holy shit! Well, fuck me. We do not have enough... Our city is yeah, I can't afford to do that anymore. One considers your efforts to be mediocre. Which means these wep th th these weapons and armor need to immediately start moving out into a legion. Holy, my, ugh. that was a bit of a kick in the teeth. I mean, it's right at the end of the year, so we should be uh, okay. Good, look at that, we maxed it out. Um, right at the end of the year, so we should be able to get some nice exports come next month. My god, sa did not expect that. The last, the last one was 3,000, I believe. And that one was 7,000. Come on, traders, trade with me. You buy anything? No, we didn't buy anything. Nope, can't afford that now. Oh, that sucked. Oh, where's the January shipment? Oh, we sold the food. Wow. 
Oh, oh, here he is. Come on, buy more stuff. It's February and you've only bought eight? Come on, dude. All right, we're in the positive again. That's good. Holy. Oh, God, that's bad. All right, so we've got nearly enough for a legion. Why is this? Why we have no more? You know what? It's uh, that's the max, isn't it? Yep. No more room for goods. Yeah. Okay. So what we need to do? It, what? Oh, I'm I'm poor. Right. I'm broke. During an invasion? What? Or me confused. Is that why the traitor wasn't coming? Rome considers your efforts to be mediocre. Well, color me confused again. Uh, well, this is weird. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confused here. So I, I can't make any money because there's an invasion. There's no trade. January, February, March, April. So we're five, we're almost halfway. It's five months in. Still no trade. Rome considers your effort. The enemy is upon us. Are in the city. But they're not. All right. Well, let's check the edges of the map to see if maybe I'm just missing something. Back there. Oh. So I think the game's broken. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure this is broken because I a bought these guys off I paid them and then they showed up anyway uh, and Now they're just standing there Because they have no way to get to me. I can't build any military So there's no way to get to them uh, The only thing I could I can think to do is is build them an access to get to me They're on that side which I can't do because I don't have any upon us. <laughs> with more attention must be paid to our city's prosperity Rome considers your efforts to be mediocre the only thing I can think to do is build them an access to get to me so that they can come sack my city and then leave nope All right, there's only one other option, and that is... This is... this is nonsense. So that'd be here. Yep. Well, that was... that was some bullshit. Uh, I'm not happy about that at all, because that may have just ruined this game. Because I can't do anything. I just had to pay. Uh, what? 15,000? 15,500? 15, For to get one in. To, to buy off one invasion? That one just popped up out of the blue. And I sat there not exporting anything for a long time. 
because they were just sitting there. They couldn't get to me. I couldn't I couldn't have them. I couldn't do anything about it. So could very un unless we get a lot of trade coming. Yeah, and now now Rome's asking for stuff that I can't provide. Because I can't build any more warehouses. The only thing I can do is this. Well, I'm I'm really frustrated with that. So yeah, nobody was trading with me because traders don't come. I don't think they either they don't come as often or they don't come at all. While while the the baddies are here. No one's going to be getting paid. I didn't make any money from like an entire year's trade of trying to figure that shit out. And I had to pay 15,500 ducats to get one one enemy invasion to go away. That's that's several years of trade and of not paying my plebs. I already gave them all my money. I can't sell this stuff. I have goods, but I can't sell them. Oh, that's about 400 ducats worth. to the city. That was really annoying. That's how I was have I was having fun right up till then. Uh I'll I can try, but I don't have any money left. Well, I I, I may have paid myself a couple extra bucks, 72. Um Considers me petty. Thirty five hundred in the hole still. And what I feel like is gonna happen is I'm gonna dig myself out of the hole and then I'm gonna get another seven, eight thousand ducat invasion. I was doing perfectly fine up till that. Six months to make 50 weapons. That's not happening either. Sorry. I, it's not like I can act, I, I can't do anything about it. Still 2,600 in the hole. Thousand. So I've got twenty nine. Yeah, well, Rome can go suck it because this game just screwed me over. Fourteen hundred. Just sitting here waiting for the traders now. Here, let's uh let's send Rome another gift. Rome is dangerously low. Wow. That jumped from twenty six to like eleven even after the gift, eleven. Up from the depths of failure. Hey, 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 hey. The game screwed me over. I'm not going to be able to send that. 
32. I didn't expect them to request weapons. Alright, I think that was the last one. Nope, nope. I got one and a quarter more. Oh my god. Oh, it's not red anymore. Uh, but it's not ready anymore, but we're out of exports, basically. Is that it here? One more. One more, so we might get up to about a thousand. Holes being brought out. Nope, not happening. Sorry, it's just not possible. How much does it cost to... That's the wrong one. The weapons were going down here somewhere. That's 1,500 to open that up. This is full. So the only thing I can try to do is try to produce more, more stuff. Oh my God. Oh, go. Mm. means I can't ex if it means I can't use or export that stuff all right so we need more warehouses too for weapons armor weapons back down to the negative for my spending and we're out of trade, so we gotta wait until January. But we had to get that stuff going. Oh, they're killing me, Smalls. Your standing in Rome is dangerously low. They're marching to remove me from power. So how much armor do I have sent? I got 16. So I got like 24. I need 50. Oh. Man, this is such a nice little city too. Just that stupid little bungle. Screwed it up. 8,500 ducats. Plus the 7,000, so 15,5. Twenty-seven. That's half. Your standing in Rome is dangerously low. That's all I can do. People no longer draw funny horns on a and a beard on your portrait. So that's all I can do. I got it up to twenty-one. I mean, does it actually tell me that they're coming? There are reports of enemy forces approaching our city. Three months or less. So they're still coming. Oh, well, that's that. Seriously? Are you getting your uh your messages your some mixed messages there? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Well, 
Gauls mock your new city, and Caesar is most displeased at your inability to produce anything of promise in this land. Well, that's a shame. Uh, I'm I'm not super happy about that. What I'll probably end up doing is replaying like the beginning half of this one off screen, and then uh, then redoing it. Uh, but thanks for watching, anyways. And I'll see you next time.